Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Mac OS X Yosemite on your PC-based hardware. Now, last year, I actually uh, made an instructional guide on how to install Mavericks, and the year before, the last generation OS X. So this is certainly a fun annual tradition for me. And if you're new to ha the world of Hackintoshes, well, welcome. It's really easy to make your own Hackintoshes. There's a couple of things you need to know. But this video is specifically great for you because we're going to be installing Yosemite from scratch. Now, you can uh, update your existing Hackintosh to Yosemite. It's not that big of an issue. But this is perfect for anyone starting from the very beginning. <music> Now before we begin, there's two things I'd like to point out. If you look in the description down below, you'll find two links. One is a link towards three different systems that I kind of configured for anybody looking towards making their own Hackintosh. So you have individual parts for each system and three different price ranges. Now the second link is a step-by-step -step instructional guide to everything we're going to be doing in this video. So if you need a written version of what we're doing in this video, you have that article for you. Now this is the most easiest way, I think, on how to install Mac OS 10. It's a really quite trouble free and very smooth and straightforward as long as you're uh, paying attention. Now just before we begin this tutorial you're going to need at least three things to begin with. You're going to need one a USB thumb drive or a hard drive that's eight gigabytes or larger. You're also going to need a computer running Mac OS 10 10.6.8 or higher which is a Snow Leopard. You can borrow this computer from your friend. It could be an iMac, it could be a Hackintosh, whatever just any computer that's running a uh, Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard or higher. You're going to need that for the first half of the tutorial. And you're obviously going to need your built uh, custom PC or system that you're going to be installing uh, Yosemite onto. Now our first step is to download a Mac OS 10 Yosemite. In order to do that, you're going to need an access to a computer that's running Mac OS 10 10.6.8 or newer, and you're going to need an Apple ID. So I'm just simply using my MacBook Air, but you can borrow a computer from a friend or a uh, perhaps even go to the Apple Store and do this while they're not looking, although I would not recommend doing that. But anyways, once you're on the computer, you want to go into the Mac App Store, log into your Apple ID, and download the full version of OS X Yosemite, which is absolutely free for anybody that has a computer that's running 10.6.8 or newer. Now keep in mind, you are downloading the full version of OS X, so it's more than 5 gigabytes in size, so it may take a while depending upon your internet connection. Now while that OS X is downloading, you want to go to Tony Mac's x86.com and sign up for an account if you haven't already. This is a great resource for Hackintosh. We're going to be following their exact methodologies and using their software to make everything as simple and straightforward as possible. Now once you're logged into your account on Tony Max x86, you want to go ahead and download the latest version of the UniB software. This is going to allow us to create our bootable USB thumb drive for Mac OS X and as well as you want to get a MultiBeast which is a, a utility tool that will allow you to install the appropriate drivers for your audio and uh, for your networking as well as uh, bootloaders and a couple of different things. Now once you have those two files downloaded they come in zip files so you just want to extract them onto your desktop and now we can move on to step two which is preparing your bootable USB drive. Now what you want to do is uh, go ahead and plug in your USB drive that's eight gigabytes or larger. You want to open up the disk utility application. You can simply just type in disk utility in the spotlight search and find that very easily and uh, once you're in there you want to go and select on your USB thumb drive and uh, go onto the partitions tab click on the current and choose one partition now you want to title your USB under name simply USB in all capitals under format you want to choose Mac OS extended journaled and then simply hit apply and it will basically partition your USB thumb drive and now we have fully prepared our USB for the installation process you can go Go ahead and open up UniBeast and you want to hit uh, continue, continue, continue and agree a couple of times until you see uh, the destination and here you'll see our USB and uh, you want to just go ahead and click on the USB and then hit continue. Here you'll see a whole bunch of, of the versions of OS X that you can uh, prepare the USB for. Obviously we have uh, a Yosemite fully downloaded and that's uh, available for us to click on. So go ahead and click on the little mountain right there and then hit continue. Next, UniBeast gives you some options for legacy and laptop support. So if you're running the appropriate hardware that needs that, you want to do your research and uh, figure out if you need it or not. If you're running something a little bit more modern that's uh, just a couple of years old, you shouldn't need to really 
click on anything. So additionally, you can see that we have laptop support. So if you're running a laptop, you can click on that laptop support and then hit continue. But I'm not running on a laptop, so I can just uh, hit continue without having to select anything. And next, it's going to ask you for your password and you can just enter your password and uh, go ahead and it'll start mounting everything to your USB drive. And it's an all in one solution. And when this thing is complete, which takes about 15 minutes, you have a bootable USB drive that you can use on uh, literally any computer that's running an Intel based CPU. And once UniBeast is done doing its thing, you want to just go ahead and uh, drag your multi beast folder onto your USB thumb drive. Now onto step three, we're going to go ahead and install OS 10 on our Hackintosh. What you want to do is go ahead and take our USB that we just made, simply plug it into the available USB drive on your uh, machine that you're going to be running Mac OS 10 on. And you want to turn on the PC, you want to quickly hit either F8 or F12 that will get you into the uh, boot device menu. And from there, you want to select your USB to be your primary boot device. And once you hit enter on the keyboard, you're going to be basically waiting for a couple of seconds until you see the Chimera bootloader, which is going to allow us to boot into the installer of Yosemite. And here you want to choose the USB that has the little Yosemite icon over here. And uh, just go ahead and press enter. And if you have any troubles getting into the installer, there's a couple of different things you can do. You can uh, try type in minus X, uh, which is going to boot you into a safe mode. And you can also try a couple of different bootloaders as listed over here, either in combination or individually. And uh, just try whatever works for you. In my case, I really didn't need to do anything in terms of flags. Uh, it had no problem just booting straight into the installer. Now, when you arrive on the installer, you can choose the appropriate language that you want to use. You want to go at the top menu bar and choose utilities, open up disk utilities. You want to basically highlight the target hard drive that you're going to be installing Yosemite on, on the left column. I want to go into the partitions tab, uh, click on current one partition, and I'm just going to name my hard drive OS 10 just to keep things simple. You want to make sure you're formatting in a Mac OS extended journal. You want to go ahead and click apply and it'll just partition your drive and make everything ready. Then you want to go ahead and just close the disk utility and uh, just go ahead and continue and agree and uh, make sure your target drive is selected on the hard drive we just formatted, not on the USB. And the installation process generally takes anywhere between 10 to 25 minutes. It took me about 12 minutes, so just be patient. And when it's done, it's going to actually reboot the system. And when it does, you want to just go ahead and uh, press F12 and that'll get you into the initial boot manager. And again, you want to select the USB and uh, it'll load up the uh, Chimera bootloader. And uh, here you actually now want to select the OS 10 icon, not the USB icon. And uh, once you do, you're going to be booting into OS 10 using your hard drive. And uh, it's just going to go through the initial setup and you can see everything looks great. Uh, everything looks uh, fairly normal. And once you get passed through the initial setup, and if you made it to this point, you want to make sure that you give yourself a pat on the back because you just installed Yosemite on your PC based hardware. Now the last step what we're going to do is fully optimize our computer for drivers and to make sure everything runs smoothly on OS 10. So go ahead and open up your USB drive, which should still have the multi beast folder in there. You want to extract that onto your desktop, open up multi beast. And here we can start setting and configuring our system. Now I'm running a uh, pretty modern gigabyte motherboard. So there's not a lot of things for me to do. Basically, the first thing I'm going to do is just click on the quick start tab and uh, go on to the DSDT free option. And then here I can move on to my drivers. I really only need to worry about my audio and my networking drivers. So basically when, under drivers, I can go to universal and I'm going to click on Voodoo HDA version uh, 2.73. And for my networking and ethernet driver, I usually just use this Anthros ethernet uh, driver right over here, which works really well for my motherboard and uh, I can make sure that the bootloader is selected on the Chimera 4.0 which is very important. This is going to make sure that you're always booting into the bootloader every time you restart or boot up your machine. And lastly when you click on the customize tab there's a whole bunch of different things already pre-selected which you can generally leave. I usually add in just the 1080p uh, display more support so when you boot up your uh, Mac OS 10 you'll actually see uh, the Apple logo and that whole boot up screen in 1080p which is nice and we could just hit build and uh, basically it'll start building our uh, Mac OS 10 and start configuring and installing all of our drivers that we need to make
make everything run as smooth as possible. Now, if one thing does not work, you basically want to uh, do a little bit of trial and error, do a little bit of research, and figure out which drivers you need for your specific motherboard. You can also download custom DSDT files, which are basically preloaded drivers for your specific motherboard on Tony Max X86's blog, and there's a whole bunch of resources there. But again, as you saw from my example, if you have a modern gigabyte motherboard or something equivalent, you really don't need to do too much. And once the Multibeast has done doing its thing, you can go ahead and restart your computer. You can go ahead and pull out the USB thumb drive that we're using because you don't need it anymore. Because as you see over here, uh, the bootloader is running fine on the actual hard drive itself. And here, once we're logged in, you could see that everything works. Our internet works. The sound also works uh, really nicely as well. No big issues whatsoever with uh, really anything at all. So uh, really a great running system. The other cool thing is my graphics card that I'm running is a, um, a little bit more of a newer GTX 760 card which can support three monitors and as you can see over here Yosemite does a great job in supporting multiple monitors and and everything looks really great runs really sleek and smooth and I'm really excited to use a Yosemite on this PC that we just made. And that's really it guys. As you can see, the installation process is fairly straightforward. It really couldn't be too much easier than it is right now. And every year it's getting easier and easier, and more accessible to everyone out there. And obviously Apple doesn't want you to run their operating system on any computer, but there's no uh, reason, no legal way for them to actually stop you from doing it. And if you love the OS like I do and uh, love to make your own custom PC and also want to run Windows, I think this is really the best of both worlds that offer offers no real compromises. Now the real tricky part I think that most people kind of struggle with is the driver support. Now obviously if you get a gigabyte motherboard that's fairly recent paired with a, a current Intel processor, you're not gonna have too much issues. Pretty much 98% of things work straight out of the box, which is excellent. There's a couple of things you have to do for ethernet and sound, but those are really quite easy fixes and MultiBeast can definitely take care of all those things without having to uh, download a custom DSDT or anything like that. But again, the best thing is if you have any specific issues with your motherboard is you do have to do your own research and figure out which specific drivers and what other people have done based on your hardware and kind of do a whole bunch of trial and error things. And you definitely have to have a little bit of patience for that. But again, if you're building one from scratch, that's when you choose the right hardware and if you take a look again at my list down below the uh, motherboard uh, support on each of those computers are quite fantastic for running Mac OS 10. I'm using a gigabyte motherboard that's running a latest generation Intel um, Core i7 uh, CPU as well as a uh, modern Nvidia graphics card and I have no problems whatsoever and everything runs pretty flawlessly but again if you have any specific questions let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up and share the video if it helps you out as well and we'll see you later take care